In this video, I am going to present the assignment 1 where we will be building various models to explore principles of deep learning in association with an application called MNIST datasets, which is about uh, really, you know, collection of uh, 60,000 observation image observations. Each image ha is a 28 by 28 um, pixel based uh, image and 60,000 uh, images have numerals between 0 and 9. Okay, so that is the data set and you know, so we have a few assignments on that and also I am going to explain it to you. Uh, before that, I want to tell you a little bit about, you know, uh, more about the cross entropy uh, loss function. So, we talked about summer squares errors and also, you know, absolute difference of errors and so on. Um, so, in the cross entropy, we are really using, uh, um, you know, what is called minus summation of pi times logarithm of pi hat. So the PI refers to the population probability, you know, so in this case, what is the likelihood of, you know, each of those 10 numerals are occurring in the 60,000 observation in the whole population. But if you have, uh, let's say training is, you know, uh, 20,000 and validation is 20,000 and testing is 10,000, uh, you know, accounting for 60,000 observations, 60,000 images, then, um, you know, the, in the first 20,000, which is the training, what is the probability of you no know, zeros 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 that is this pi value okay and for each of those uh, image you go through the process of the deep learning where you estimate the parameters and eventually um, you know the output neuron is going to be 10 numerals right so the output neuron 10 numerals you can estimate in the following way that is uh, you know the uh, what, what is using what is called the softmax function you would have heard of that one which is basically a multinomial uh, function okay uh, in statistical learning so uh, you know so for each of the uh, image you will find out to know where the maximum occurs the where the maximum occurs um, and uh, 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 for a for a batch uh, of samples then you will find out you know the you know, the relative occurrences of each of these probabilities and those probabilities are used here um, you know as pi hat and that product sum you know the pi times logarithm of pi hat product sum you know with the negative symbol attached to it is the cross entropy okay so because you always need a loss function to estimate you know to let your uh, neural network guide you to find out the parameters to be estimated as the uh, arrows here okay uh, so the first part of the assignment one is uh, asking you to you know flatten the each of the image data into a 784 uh, you know uh, input values uh, so for each image you will get 784 input values right and then we are asking you to use one hidden uh, layer with one hidden neuron in that hidden layer so um, so all the input values 784 input values are connected to one hidden layer and then one hidden layer is connected to the 10 output values so the basically we are, we are saying that no so you will be using the sum product function as uh, before i have explained before that is your h or z function z value and then you, you know you can apply either sigmoid or relu function it doesn't matter it will, both will work and uh, and uh, you know that is the activation function and uh, uh, from the hidden layer to the hidden node to the hidden layer and which is only one hidden neuron uh, not to the output neurons is you know in this way calculated like this the bias times the weight wt1 times the activation function output value right and y2 is you know, b2 plus w2 times a and the activated value and so on so the 10 values are there so using softmax function so softmax function says the p1 value is um, exponential of y1 here divided by sum of all the exponential values of the y's, yi's, okay. P2 is exponential of y2 value here, divided by sum of all the, um, uh, sum, of, uh, sum of the exponentials of uh, the y1, uh, y2, y, y dot dot, y10 values. So, this will make, you know, sum of P1, P2, P10 estimated values to be equal to 1, okay. That's why it's called a, a soft math function. It's called, anyway, multinomial function in statistical learning. So, this is what, these are the functions, you know, the Python functions you will use. The number of parameters here is, you know, 784, you know, connecting from the input neuron to the hidden neuron plus one bias. 
for all these things, all these weights, all these input values. And then from one hidden neuron to 10 uh, um, output neuron, you have 10 weights. And then each of the, um, you know, each of the hidden, the, the hidden neuron is connected to the first one, which has a WT1 plus its bias. You know, hidden neuron H is connected to the, you know, Y2, the Y2 label value. Then it is, you know, uh, um, uh, WT2 value plus, you know, its uh, bias. So like that, there are 10 bytes and 10 bias. So in total, 784 plus 1, 785 plus 20, 805 parameters. But on the other hand, if you have two neurons, then you will basically have two times 784 plus one bias, plus two times 10 weights plus 10 bias, which is 1610. On the other hand, if you have, you know, so that is, you know, experiment one and two, we ask you to do experiment with one hidden neuron, one hidden layer, one hidden neuron, two, one hidden layer, two hidden neuron, and then, you know, in the experiment three, uh, we are asking you to uh, apply 128 hidden neuron in the hidden layer, and the number of parameters you can calculate you know, using this uh, you know, the, uh, slide here, it comes out to be 784 times 128 plus 128 bias, so it is 100,480 parameters plus the number of parameters you know, connecting the hidden neurons to output is 128 times 10 plus 10 bias and 1,290, so a total of 100,480 plus 1,290, which is 101,770 parameters in this model. So um, uh, in the in the in the um, yeah, you know, so you may have to do multiple you know various you know various uh, hidden neuron uh, maybe multiple hidden uh, hidden you know hidden layers and each of the hidden layers may, may will have multiple hidden neurons. So you can experiment with so many different ways. Okay, and uh, uh, so in experiment one, we are only asking you. To model 784 nodes with one hidden node, output node is 10 nodes, and then you know I am explaining you, asking you to do certain you know experimental EDA also, so that you will get comfortable with the process and the outputs, and you know making the connection to the idea. Does it make sense or not? Okay, and in experiment two, we talked about 784 input nodes, hidden two nodes, and output node is 10, and you know I am asking you to see. You know, again, the box plots. You know, which of them are, um, which of them are uh, um, overlapping and uh, not overlapping, and so on. And you will have to do many of these experiments, and then finally decide what is the best model based on the confusion matrix. You already know confusion matrix from ML uh, course. So, um, and you know, I will also share with you some details about it in the you know in the explanation of the assignment one. Uh, use PCA to uh, the the fourth experiment is so you'll you'll find you will you know you will define what is meant to be a best model uh, using the bias variance trade off as well as the confusion matrix okay so in this case it's not bias variance trade off you will use confusion matrix uh, because it's a classification model and in experiment four we are asking you to do PCA to dimensional reduction so remember you now each of the image is uh, seven and uh, seven and uh, seven hundred and uh, 84 values so for 20,000 we have 20,000 columns of 784 rows okay so we are asking you to create a PCA for that data set and and asking you to use only 200 you know dimensions first 200 dimensions remember the total dimensions cannot be more than 784 dimensions and we are asking you to use even though it is 20,000 observation in the training we are asking you to use the first 200 uh, dimensions to use it in the um, in the uh, as the input values as the input values for you know uh, predicting the uh, numerals okay uh, and compare its performance with respect to the assignment um, assignment three which is you know which is the best model you selected you know based on various explorations you will do in addition to some of the exploration we have asked you you know because you can have multiple hidden layers and with multiple hidden nodes and we want you to compare those results you know two and three I mean, the three and uh, uh, four we want you to compare you know by using dimensional reduction pca dimensional reduction you know how does it do in comparison to the pure deep neural network you used with the original uh, input data and finally experiment five is you now instead of using pca use um, random forest you know so you have 784 features 
uh, pick the top 70 features. Okay. Um, so now I'm saying the rows are observations, the columns are features. Okay. Let's put it that way. Okay. Um, rows are observations and columns are the, uh, the 784 uh, pixel values. Okay. Um, so you, you know, you'll have to find out, you know, the top uh, 70 features from this using random forest and now uh, also you repeat the experiment you know three with the 70 input nodes in this case now you compare the results with the previous three and four okay so that's the kind of experiment we are asking you to do in real life you may do a lot more experiments okay um, uh, but you know this is for our assignment purposes um, so once you do those analysis i want you to organize the paper as a research report with each section answering basic questions. What are they? So there will be six sections, you know, write an abstract, right? introduce, uh, why are you doing, why are you conducting this research, business case and problem formulation. For example, in the beginning, you know, uh, UPS had difficult time understanding, you know, the uh, numeral values. And there are so many packages, you know, even USPS as well as UPS, they have tough time understanding the zip code because it's a fundamental number that sorts the uh, sorts the packages as well as the uh, mails to the right location like geography right geography which means you know it has to go to the right uh, plane right uh, um, um, truck uh, and so on okay right post office is determined by the zip code so um, so it was a very important problem so that's the kind of story you have to write you know so why we need to do what we do is uh, is there is a reasoning business reasoning uh, so you, I, you know, we want you to write that part also. And literature reviews. You now, who else has conducted research like this? You know, there is. If you if you look for you know, uh, Google research and ask the performance of you know performance improvement, historical performance improvements of MNIST, you know, uh, handwritten numeral uh, application, you will find you know the many people who have done this work, and what are the different things that they did as experiments and how they improved it. Now it is only I think it is only. 0.16 percent error okay so uh, we have come a long way um, and then what are the different methods you you know you use how, how are you conducting the research review research design and modeling method implementation programming data preparation exploration visualization and then finally no, not finally the fifth section is you know what did you learn from the research review the results and evaluate models and finally six number six section six is uh, so what does it all mean you know as conclusions exposition of the problem problem description and management of the recommendations so uh, managing the recommendations so you know write a paper like stuff where you will have these six sections okay uh, so there is some introduction that i already talked about uh, why are you doing so i'm giving a little bit more information about literature review what methods people have used for computer vision classification problems in general ml methods tree-based methods and svm and real methods is you know dnn and cnn that is deep neural network and convolutional neural network. Um, so, in terms of the methods, you know, research design and uh, uh, modeling methods, it's um, you know basically MLP method. Implementation programming is you know you use you know TensorFlow, Keras, and Matplotlib, Seaborn, uh, and how often the model needs to be revised, and data preparation, exploration, and you know visualization. Um, so model results, you know, so you write something like this, you know, you, you did five experiments, MLP with one hidden neuron, MLP with two hidden neuron, MLP with 128 hidden neuron, MLP with 85 neuron, I don't know. We didn't talk about it, but 128 after that, you know, you can put any number of them, right? 85 neurons, uh, hidden neurons, you selected out of the dimensionality, uh, you know, dimensionality reduction out of which you had 154 or 200 here and, you know, um, 200 uh, dimension, you know, reduced dimensions and from, you know, you use that to connect to, you know, maybe 85 neurons, I just wrote, you know, wrote it like this, but it could be, you know, 15 neurons, okay? So something, whatever you want to experiment, you know, do that. And then I'm saying, you know, you, you know, it may not be this enough. This is what you have done so far, um, but, you know, you may need to do more, you know, so that is a problem with, the, you know, uh, I mean, you know, the opportunity area in neural network is that you've got to do a lot more experiments um, and then every time you'll compare the confusion matrix in this case and you'll select the, the best confusion matrix based model and do you what are your insights report the accuracy results for training validation testing provide summary table and performance metrics and pick one best model on best based on the test test accuracy 
okay and finally exposition problem description and management recommendations for implementing that so the modeling process is uh, you know uh, basically load the data reshape the data define the model compile the model fit the model evaluate the model we will that's what we you know we follow through you know basically as a as a ml pipeline um, and uh, and if you look at that let me go back and open this uh, uh, open this um, assignment one notes i will walk you through some of that also again quickly because it's a uh, quite a bit of good details are here so you know just a moment so uh, what all i have explained it's all here okay it's all here um, and more is also available um, it's all here okay look at this this is exactly what we talked about okay and uh, the report file is not it should be pdf it should not be uh, you know a small two page material or anything not write in detail um, so we are asking you to write 10 pages so that is a quite a bit of write up you have to do okay and uh, important figures and tables need to be included and may go in an appendix and do not count as part of the main report the paper should cover all the six bullet points and report components and grading guidelines. Um, you can use APA style uh, or any other style, you know, I, I think Chicago style also is fine with me. Um, it's easier, APA style is easier. Um, so the format is you now APA style, readability of any graphs, charts and figures are very important. Appropriate significant figures and numbers are needed. Code files, submit the code files in HTML format. You may submit multiple files corresponding to multiple experiments also. So it may be a big file, but the report itself is, you know, should have 10 pages. Okay. The other, uh, you know, paraphernalia is, you know, to support your work. Uh, here is the, uh, you know, uh, rubric for your assignment. Uh, an executive summary of the research abstract, it gets you five points. Introduction gets you five points. And I explained what it means. You know, and we are, we are again giving you more information about this. Why are you conducting the re research on you know, business case and uh, literature review gets you five points. Uh, how are you conducting research gets you 40 points. Results are getting you 40 points and finally conclusion gets you five, five points they talk for a total of 100 points. So um, what else I, you know, I certainly, exp you know, yeah, so I would say, you know, go, go to this is about how to use a GitHub page and uh, 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 so take a look at that. It is to create a GitHub page for yourself because it's important that you create GitHub pages so that you can use it, you know, for your interview when you are going for interview. Um, you know, not only these AI applications, you may have it. You also may have other uh, good, really classic, you know, uh, reports that you would have created for various assignments and various, um, various, uh, various, you know, problem areas, you know, including your uh, later on that comes you know the capstone project so you can take a look at this one it's the, the, basically the you know solution is given here to so walk you through uh, the details here you know um, so I encourage you to walk through this make sure every part is understood here um, so it tells you how to load how to do the work and so on um, it explains quite a bit also what is going on in the you know the network uh, models uh, the parameters you know compiling it you know fitting it and evaluating it and so on okay so thank you very much i wanted to get this you know early so that you will have you know extra days uh, you know for preparing you know a wonderful report to be submitted on sunday thank you very much everybody